A king had a daughter unequaled for beauty, but she thought so much of herself that no suitor was good enough for her. The Princess Elena has arrived! She's here! Well, well, my dear daughter Elena has arrived at last. Many fine kings have come to ask for your hand in marriage. Surely you will find one of them acceptable. They are superior gentlemen, one and all. You may choose one to live happily ever after with. Oh, Father, really? You don't mean to tell me these are the cream of the crop? Eh? I am much too superior for this lot. I wish that you had not invited them here in the first place. Did you hear that? <laughs> Elena, I cannot allow you to be so insulting. Princess, if I may, I am King Franz of Golder at your service, ma'am. But of course, Golder, you have famine there. But I never imagined even the king would look starved as a shriveled branch. <laughs> uh, a shriveled branch? <sighs> ma'am, I'm the Royal Highness King Turner from Turnerland, ma'am. Really, Father, do you mean to tell me that you would have your only daughter become the wife of a beer barrel? A beer barrel, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Elena, your behavior is very embarrassing. If my behavior huh? is so embarrassing, perhaps you'd better send them all away. They're all impossible, you see. <sighs> Princess, I'm King Farrell. How much you resemble a horse that pulls a cart. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, a real lion. <laughs> a great big grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> Upon my word, this one resembles nothing so much as a defeated bulldog. Hmm? Bulldog? <laughs> <laughs> This has gone far enough. Hmm. Hmm. Well, how terribly dressed you are. Uh. And besides that, that ridiculous grizzled little beard of yours reminds me of a bird's beak. <laughs> I shall therefore call you young King Grizzlebeard. I have heard all that I intend to hear, daughter. Are you truly unable to judge people by anything other than their appearance? Nothing but their looks, their fortunes, the size of their kingdoms? From now on, I shall no longer tolerate your superior attitude and impossible vanity. Listen to me. Out of the suitors who next come to this castle, I am going to make the one with the lowest status your husband. Do you understand? The next one to come to the castle. But father... Uh, father, wait! Elena had never seen her father as angry as he was that day. She left the reception and locked herself in her room with her ladies-in-waiting to ponder what fate might have in store for her. She was growing weary with her anxiety when suddenly she heard music outside her window. My maiden fair, my darling, a moon. Pretty princess, would you let a poor musician sing to you? Oh my, mm, what a shabby looking fellow. You, huh? there, huh? musician. Yes? The king's call for you. Glory be, the king. Oh, it mustn't be, it's impossible. <laughs> Father. Oh, you're just in time, Elena. Your majesty, was it the royal intention that you were going to do me a favor? Mm, because I like your song and the way you sang it so much, I've decided to give you my daughter as your bride. Huh, the princess is my bride, your highness? I'm not going to do it. I'll never wed such a shabby man. I made you a promise and I'm going to keep it. This is the next man to come along and he certainly has a very low status. No, I can't believe you're doing this to me. Please, father. Since you are now the musician's wife, it is your duty to be with your husband. You can no longer stay here in the castle. You must now begin your new life. I hope you will be very happy. 